Well, everybody, uh, I've already been telling some of you guys it's going to be a little bit warm in here tonight, and that's all right. Uh, we will have the AC tomorrow, if you're wondering, and uh, the school has a timer and all of that, but um, it's going to be a phenomenal night, and I'm so thankful for all of you guys choosing on a Saturday night to be here. This is Mission City's very first night of worship, so thank you guys for being here tonight, and I just want to set the stage for uh, the evening. This is going to be one of those evenings. Um, that it's, it's for you and your soul to get refilled. But it's an opportunity also for you to draw close to the Lord. And so as we have been working hard for the songs and the set lists and everything, and obviously just anticip anticipation of all of you guys that are going to be here today, but this really is one of those moments that we're just saying, whatever it is that you're going through in your life, whoever it is that you need to forgive, bitterness that you're harboring, a sin that seems to just constantly be pulling you down. Maybe you're struggling honestly in your faith and you're here and you're just like, I don't really know where I am. I feel like I'm fighting for my faith. There's a scripture that the Lord uh, gave me as I was preparing for this and it's Second Chronicles 20. It says this, then he consulted with the people and appointed some to, li listen to this, to sing for the Lord and for some to praise the splendor of his holiness. And when they went out in front of the armed forces, they were going into a battle scene. They kept singing. That's a weird strategy, isn't it? Saying, yeah, yeah, put all your armor gear on, but also just go out there and you're going to sing in front of the enemy. <laughs> it says this, give thanks to the Lord for his faithful love endures forever. And the moment that they began their shouts and praises, the Lord, he set an ambush against their enemies. And you can see in this passage all the enemies that he lists. Who came to fight against Judah. And listen to this. And they were defeated. The battle was not for them to go and defeat it all in their means, their strength, their ability, their intellect, their strategy. It was actually for them to pray and to praise God for what he was going to do. Now, as we're getting ready to move into this time where we're going to worship, I want you to just, I want to really, I just want to create an atmosphere of just reverence right now. <clears throat> Whatever it is that you need from God, every single one of us, myself included, we all need something from God. We might need a touch of him for a healing. We might need him to intervene in a wayward child or a strained relationship. We might need God to do a miracle for our finances right now. Maybe some of you are going through marital difficulty and you're here and you're struggling. Or maybe you're here and your spouse isn't here. 
Maybe for others of you that you really have a battle, whatever it is that you're going through, a sin battle, whatever it is that you're facing, this is an important night. Because in that passage in 2 Chronicles 20, what he is saying is this, sing and praise and give thanks and watch what I'll do on behalf of you. God's been putting it on my heart to set this precedence that tonight is going to be a night of prayer, but one of also worship. So if you would join with me, just opening up your hands. All that is, you can do it right there in your lap, just very subtly. What that is, is a posture of saying, God, I need you, and don't we need him? (laughs) God, I need you. Would you move? I want to hear a fresh word from you. I want you to restore my soul. I want you to do something. Because God says this, I inhabit the praises of my people. There's something about praising together that he inhabits, that he does something. And I've been praying that he would do something in your life, that he would soften your heart, that he would conquer a sin in your life, that he would move on behalf of you. Whatever it is that you need from him tonight, open up your hands. It's just a posture of surrender and opening saying, I'm going to trust in you. And I'm going to pray for all of us and where as we enter into this time. God, I don't know what every single person here needs from you, but you do. You're the sovereign Lord. You're in control. You're above it all. And yet you're so close that you also intervene in our life and in our situations. I pray that right now in this moment, whatever it is that people need from you, would they receive it tonight? That this would be a night for even every single family, but even for the life of our church that would be a catalyst. That we would see the hand of God and we would see you move in such a powerful way. So go before us, Lord. Stand beside us. And may we see you, see you, do what only you can do in our lives. Come through, Father, today. In your name, amen. Hello. Good evening. Good to see you. Why don't we stand together? Before we start singing, I wanted to read Psalm 100 just kind of, I love what Pastor Phil was saying, just kind of recentering ourselves, having a a good posture. So I'll read. Psalm 100. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with jubilation. Come before him with rejoicing. Know that the Lord himself is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courtyards with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. So before we start singing, why don't you just, if you, like you said, like Pastor Phil said just a moment ago, if you need to open your hands, whatever that looks like for you, just take a moment. Close your eyes, recenter yourselves. I don't know what your day has looked like, if it's been a little chaotic or not. Just think on gratitude, what you're thankful to the Lord for. He's provided for you, children and spouses, clean water. He's provided salvation and covering finances. The Lord is good. sing. Nothing 
got a world to start. I've got just for what he's done, for what he's doing in our lives. We're here tonight. We may have some sin in our lives. We do have sin. All have sinned and have fallen short of God's glory. But he's gracious and he's good. Psalm 51 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit, but restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. Let that be our prayer tonight. The Lord would create in us a clean heart. He's faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we confess our sins to him. This next song we, we reflect on him who became sin on our behalf, 
He's the son of suffering, the one who lived and died, but he didn't stay dead. He rose again and defeated the grave. Just let the Lord move in your heart tonight as we sing this next song.
There's a God who weeps, and there's a God who bleeds, and no oh, praise the one who would reach for me. And hallelujah to the Son of Suffering, and hallelujah to the Son of Suffering.
holy king, the lamb who was slain. It's above all thrones and dominions, all powers and positions. His name is Jesus, Jesus Christ, and he is our living hope. So we're going to sing to again, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Death has lost its grip. He holds the power. Sing this to him today. tonight. Sing this out.
Sing hallelujah, praise the one who set me free, hallelujah, death has lost its grip on me, you have broken every chain, there's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my Lord. Love to 
I don't know if, uh, you know, it's not regular service. And I was like, man, I just want to, I'm going to let down the walls. And, you know, this past week has just been a week. Anybody in test of that? <laughs> if it ain't been for you, it's been for me. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's been a while, a while for me at least, that, that I've gotten emotional over what God's done in my life. You know what I mean? And I pray, God, I want to feel what I felt, you know, years ago and, and all that. And, um, you know, uh, this past week, you know, I have felt that. And even today, I, I really have felt that. And uh, driving here, I was actually emotional. And I was praying for all of you guys, my own heart also, in this whole, uh, to the Lord and everything. But just that, and I'm sorry, just, man, I really am overwhelmed just with God. I really mean that. I'm not trying to sound hyper-spiritual. For you it's all been around me long enough. I'm not that guy. But I can just tell you I'm very overwhelmed with just what God is doing right now. And you may have never had that experience. Like, really. It's like, maybe you've never really been overwhelmed. We have another half song and a song that we're going to finish with. And my hope is that we would finish this loud, hands raised. If you've never done that, there is something about when they would raise their hands in old times. If you've never done that tonight, I'm going to challenge you. Even if it's just a soft little hand raise and you don't want to go full on, I get it. But I'm going to challenge you to do that because there is just something that happens when we praise him. That he actually wants to intervene in our praises. He wants to move on behalf of whatever it is that you personally are going through. Or maybe your life is okay. And that could actually be a problem. Because your life is okay. You don't need him. You've never been overwhelmed with him. It's been a long time since you've really felt like I have not been overwhelmed by the presence and the goodness of God of what he has done in my life what he has done for me but not just that he ain't done moving in your life isn't that right do you believe that see when you sing these songs when we sing these songs what it is is it's a declaration of our faith of saying I believe it sometimes don't y'all know this too don't you sometimes gotta sing it till you believe it <laughs> you gotta preach to yourself and I have a scripture, I'm not going to unpack it. This isn't a teaching moment necessarily of walking through all these verses. But as I prayed heavily for this moment, God, I said, what do you want your people to hear from your word? And he led me to Isaiah 55. And this is what it says. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call to him while he is near. Let the wicked one abandon his way and the sinful one his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord so that he may have compassion on him and to our God, for he will freely forgive. This is who he is. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and your ways are not my ways. This is the Lord's declaration. For as heaven is higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Just as the rain and the snow fall from heaven and do not return there without saturating the earth and making it germinate and sprout, providing seed to sow and food to eat. Look at this one. So my word. That comes from my mouth will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what I please and will prosper in what I send it to do. We're going to finish a song. The last song that the band has been working diligently on is So Will I. And it's a very somber song. Because the song in it is pretty much saying that all of creation obeys God except humanity, who is the crown of creation. That we're the very ones that he's given a will to. That we can go our own way and say, I'm not going to worship you. I'm going to go my way. I trust in my ways and not your ways. And here's what he is saying to you today. His ways are higher than your ways. You may not understand it. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And when his word, as right now, goes forth, 
it will not return to him empty. Is that right? This is a moment that I'm, I'm asking all of you to respond to, to pray, to seek God while he may be found. So right now, I'm going to give you 15, 20 seconds to just say, God, I'm, I want you to show up right now in my heart, in my life. You may do that right there in the silence of your chair, and you're going to ask God, move in my May we be the people who are obedient, as obedience to creation. Creation obeys him. And you know what the song says, the song, So Will I, says, as creation obeys you, so will I. May that be your prayer today. Is as the animals that you created do what you created to do, obey you, so will I. As the oceans do not go past where you tell it to go, so will I. I am going to do and go where you tell me to go. The lyrics say this, if the stars were made to worship, you can fill it in, so will I. This is a prayer. I want you to say the so will I part with me. If the mountains bow in reverence, so will I. If the oceans roar your greatness, so will I. If everything exists to lift you high, so will I. And if the wind goes where you send it, so will I. Tonight, will it be a night that you say, so will I. I will go where you want me to go, and I will do what you want me to do, and I will say what your word says. So stand to your feet with me. This last part of Great Are You, Lord, let's declare it loud, hands raised, and let's see God move on these last songs.
stop the wonder of life. And as you speak,
time What measure could amount to your desires You're the one who never leaves the one behind This is our Jesus, the one who never leaves the one behind Jesus, the one In this moment, I'm going to pray and we'll be dismissed you guys can walk out and I'm just telling you do not miss tomorrow's service uh, Brendan will be back we're excited to have him in the band and uh, we're gonna have a great service plan tomorrow but we want to go out just in reflection of that last song that we sung and what God is doing in your heart and in your family's life and our prayer that we would see him move in our family's life in the people around us so may it be your prayer today just like that song you used to say, so will I. So let me pray. Father, there are people in here that need a touch from heaven in a way that would cause them to leave free. There are people in here that have struggles in any area of their life that need an intervention of you. And God, as we leave here tonight, may this worship be an overflow into tomorrow and the days proceeding. I pray, Father, that you would draw many to yourself and send us out to be the voice of Jesus, to see many come to faith in you. Amen. We love you. We're thankful that you are here tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow morning.